end of days, the judgment day, the end of the world, my friend. The movie 2012 talked about the end of the world. It's based on the Mayan calendar, so could it be true? We talked to a local expert to see how close the movie comes to reality. Will the world end on December 21st, 2012? Some say that prediction comes straight from the Mayan calendar, but now our researchers are saying the calculations are all wrong. ABC4's Brent Hunsaker has been looking into this latest controversy over the end of the world. Brent? <laughs> yeah, Karen, remember last year's big budget movie, 2012? The script was laughable, but the special effects were something else. You know, all that mayhem and destruction, it would really be unnerving to anyone who bought into the predictions of apocalypse from the Maya calendar. Could this be our fate in just 790 days? It's the apocalypse, end of days. But wait a minute, a researcher at UC Santa Barbara now says we got it all wrong. He says that by converting the information from the Maya calendar to ours, we're off by 50 to 100 years. I am all for challenging conventional wisdom. Dr. Alan Christensen of BYU is fluent in several Mayan languages. And in fact, he published one of the best translations of what you might call the Maya Bible. But he says there's just too much evidence that the calendars are right. Well, I'm pretty comfortable about the dating. So if the date is right, is the movie also right? Is the world really coming to an end in 2012? Just nonsense. The same kind of things were said about Y2K. For one thing, he says the Maya themselves didn't seem concerned. There is a sum total of one ancient Maya text that, e text that even refers to the uh, 2012 date. And it comes from a fairly minor monument found among Maya ruins. It says December 21st, 2012, a particular god will descend. Is uh, to be perfectly frank, is a god of period endings and of destruction and uh, that. But he's also a god of rebirth and uh, of creation. And he says in the Maya religion, the world is constantly dying and being reborn. There's no indication whatsoever that they thought that uh, everything would end permanently uh, after 2012. The, there are a lot of dates that they record in their monuments long after 2012. So what will Dr. Christensen be doing on December 21st, 2012? Well, he tells me perhaps a little Christmas shopping, and he plans on finishing off the day with one of the great treats given to us by the Maya. Chocolate. <laughs> Live in studio, Brent Hunsaker, ABC4 News. Sounds delicious, Brent. Thank you.